In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a MySQL database. More, more specifically, I'm going to show you how to create a SQLite database on a Mac, which has most all the capabilities of a full-fledged MySQL database, but is more compact and comes pre-installed on a Mac. You will just need a means of interacting with it, and that's what I'm going to show you. This is a two-part series, and the second part I'll show you how to use this database in Xcode to be a part of an iPhone app. Okay. Um, so anyway, to get started, what you want to do is use this little um, add-on for Firefox. So if you don't have Firefox, download that. And then you do a little search for SQL Lite Manager. Um, it's the first link here. It brings you to this page. You just click on this. It adds it. Um, as an add-on to uh, Firefox. And this is a nifty little tool that lets you create um, MySQL Lite databases. Um, this is important to note that this is, can only be used on a Mac. And since we're talking about Xcode, I assume you're using a Mac since that can only be used on a Mac. Um, so all you do is once you install that, you might have to restart Firefox. But once you do, you go to Tools. SQLite Manager, and this little interface comes up. I already have a little database in here, um, so I have a little more showing. If, if the first time opening it, you probably don't have anything showing. Um, so to get started, though, you're going to click on the little blank sheet of paper here to create a new database. Um, we're going to call this one My Data. Since I already have a file called that. I'm going to call this my data too, but you can just call yours my data. Hit OK, and it's going to pop up like this and ask you to save it somewhere. Um, we'll save it right in the. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to put this on the desktop. We have a database created. Now we want to create a table within that database. So we're going to click on this little icon here for creating a new table. So click on that and we're going to give this table a name. We'll call this users, all lowercase. Okay. And we're going to give it three fields. We're going to give it an ID, username, and email. Just a nice short table for tutorial purposes. Um, we're going to make this of type integer. And this is going to be our primary key and we're going to auto increment it. All right? um, the other two we're going to make of type text. Okay. Um, and I usually go with type text no matter what it is, either that or vercar. Um, and I just convert anything over that I need to. If I'm using an integer, I'll just convert it to a text. But you don't have to do that. I've, I've always just been in the habit of doing that. Um, and, that and that should be all we need to do. We should be able to hit OK here, and yes, and now you'll see we have our little database um, called users, and it has an ID, username, and email fields. State that if we wanted to, we could click on the Add button here and add data to this database. However, I'm going to let my users do that in our app, so I'm going to leave this empty for now. But I just want you to be aware that you could add information to this database before exporting it. All right, so the last thing I want to do here is we're going to actually export the database. So we're going to go, let me just show you where I went in there again. I'm going to go to database, export database. And like I said, yours is called my data. So I'll change that to my data. I'm going to save that to the desktop. Hit save, hit OK, and now you should have a little file called mydata.sql. All right, so now we're actually done with this Firefox utility. We can get on out of there and get out of Firefox. And we're now going to open Terminal. So I just did a quick search in Spotlight and open Terminal, and you're going to 
change the directory, so CD, and then we'll just put in desktop. So now we're in the desktop, and we're going to, what we want to do now is we're going to, you know, Mac has SQLite 3 built into it, so we're going to use the um, built-in feature, and we're going to actually convert this to a DB file. So we're going to say SQL3, and then it allows you to um, do some any number of functions, and we're going to change the name of this. So I'm going to say mydata.db. Um, we're going to change it to that name from the name mydata.sql. And you should do that. And you now have your mydata.db file. And this is the file that we'll be able to use in Xcode. So I'll get out of terminal now as well. Database is now in the form that's ready to be added to Xcode to be used in an iPhone app project. So in the next video, I'll show you how to add it to your project and use the database in an app. So until next time, thanks, and let me know if you have any comments. Thank you.